Okay guys, uh, I'm going to show you how to put the cat tourniquet into the 1110 uh, rigid TQ case. A lot of people don't understand how to fold it, uh, can't figure it out. It's really a, a complicated process uh, that takes a while to actually learn how to do it. And then once you do it once, you never do it again. So anyway, let me show you my little tricks uh, on how to do this. So first thing that I do is I've got a measure. And the way I measure it, because this part of the cat tourniquet actually sticks out of the case, I measure it from the top of the case, okay, right there, to right about the bottom of the buckle. All right, so once I have that measurement right there, I will go ahead and, of course, it comes looped all the way through. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this strap out like that. Now I can fold the strap up underneath like that. Put the windlass in the middle, okay? Then I'll take this, the rest of the remaining part of the flap and flap it over right there. And then I'll take my little time strap. Now, of course, as you know, a lot of people will foot will uh, go ahead and preload the time strap right there, and uh, which is which is definitely something that uh, you have to do is to make sure it's preloaded. But in order for me to do this correctly and hold that tip of that strap down, I just double fold it down here so I can reach over, grab it, and pull it. So now that the windlass is in, it's the correct measurement right there. I'll take it and put it into the TQ, the rigid TQ from 1110. Goes in just like that. Perfect, and that's exactly what you get. That's what it looks like from the side. So, uh, another issue that I have seen is the new Recon Medical tourniquets that look like the cat tourniquets will not fit into these cases because the buckle on them is just a little bit too wide. So that information has been uh, uh, sent to Recon Medical and also to uh, 1110. So hopefully those two will get together and come up with uh, a new design. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know. I'll put my information in my contact information in the uh, uh, in the comments of this uh, video. Thank you very much.